After nearly a year of construction, the Bay St. Louis Police Department will soon be moving into a new $4.5 million building. Coming next month, the staff of 29 will relocate to this public safety complex. It sits just behind their current office inside of City Hall. The, the 10,000 square foot facility will boast eight office spaces, forensic and patrol rooms, a massive lobby, two holding cells, showers, an in-house training room, and so much more. Police Chief Toby Schwartz says that the building will be dedicated to Chief Douglas J. Williams. He was the first black police chief in Mississippi. He also says that the County Chamber of Commerce will dedicate two stars on the sidewalk to fallen officers, Brandon Estorf and Robin or Stephen Robin. Once you come in the police department for the everyday operations and business here, we're going to dedicate our two of our rooms to them. So our briefing roll call room, Sergeant Stephen Robin loved uh, to brief up uh, the persons on his shift. And it only makes sense to honor name and recognize and, and honor him by naming that room after him. So we're going to do that. And then also for Brandon Estorf, he was so big into training, being a young officer, that was, that's what he loved. We're going to dedicate the training room in the name of Brandon Estorf. Chief Schwartz also says he wants these rooms to be constant reminders of the sacrifices and contributions both officers made to the department. A new friendly and furry face has been brought to the Bay St. Louis Police Department. Meet Max. He is an eight-year-old Newfoundland mix and the, new, or the station's new comfort dog. Max was brought to the police station after being retired from Dunbar Village. He received a warm welcome from the station two weeks ago and is making himself right at home. Max will be assisting now with investigations and community outreach. Dunbar Village adopted Max six years ago from an animal shelter.